Hi. Hey everybody, welcome to the introductory video for my series to help people who have just gotten into quadcopters, racing freestyle type quadcopters, and maybe they just bought an Eachin Wizard X220, which is what this guy is right here, and they're really confused because I was super confused and very frustrated, and then it turned to anger, and then it was confusion, and then it was just despair, and then it was frustration again, and then confusion, and then like epiphany, and then probably back to confusion. But right now, I finally got this thing up in the air. It's flying, and I've watched tons. Let me make, yeah, that looks better. I've got this up in the air, it's flying, I've watched tons of videos and hours and hours of, of figuring out how to get this thing working and part of that was just because um, there was a lot of simple stuff that I didn't know that you needed to know in order to get the setup. The other thing was that I bought this as an ARF or ARF model, which means that um, it comes without the receiver and without the transmitter, the transmitter, this guy right here. Uh, which I ended up buying later. We'll talk about that in another video. But uh, so basically I was having a little bit of trouble getting this one set up because I watched the video, like I'm sure a lot of other people did, by UAV Futures with Stu. I love you, Stu, man. Shout out to you. Um, and so I thought, oh man, it's so easy. But listen, Stu, my bro, I, I love you. I love your videos, but you're so good at what you do that you make it look too easy and too simple for for uh, us beginner noob people. And so I was very confused about a lot of things. One of the things, I'm just gonna shout it out and get this out there because this was one of the biggest things that was holding me up. And I was trying to understand if I could uh, use my Spectrum DS, uh, DX6i transmitter um, and my receiver, the, AR, the Spectrum AR610 receiver with this quad. The short answer is no, okay? So if you were, Trying to figure that out, the short answer is no. Basically, it just it won't work. And so you might hear people talking about uh, Spectrum satellite receivers. That's another thing that got me really confused. We'll talk about that in another video, but basically that's not the same as a regular Spectrum uh, receiver, like the kind that you would just stick on a little uh, park flyer type airplane. So, uh, so you can't use that. I learned that, and so I ended up getting this guy which, like I said, we'll talk about in another video. In this video series, we're going to be talking about a bunch of simple stuff that is so basic you would almost think like that's crazy basic. Like, I can't believe that no one knows that. But the thing is, is that it's a scientific fact that I just made up that once you learn something, once you learn how to do something or you learn about something, you quickly forget what it was like to not know, to not know how to do that thing or what that thing was. So. Uh, so what I'm trying to do is uh, is get this video out there as soon as I can while I still remember what it was like not knowing what it meant to arm a quad and how to arm the quad and how to how to flash the flight controller and what the PDB was and you know getting everything set up on clean flight or beta flight and what the heck those are and maybe you're watching this and you're like I don't know what he just said he just said like blah 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 but stay with me okay it's 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 weird and confusing but that's what i wish someone had said to me they said hey there's gonna be some weird and confusing stuff but just stay with it and it'll be worth it because you'll get this thing up and flying and you're gonna be having loads of fun or as Stu would say heaps of fun right okay so <laughs> heaps of fun thanks for watching guys listen I am here to help you, you who is struggling getting your quad in the air, because that's I was I had a heck of a time d doing that. I, it was a doozy of a time getting that thing going. So please stay tuned, watch these videos, and uh, I'm putting this out now without any other videos out at the moment because that way I'll have to make more videos. So stick around. Thanks for watching.